it's not going away. The three platforms you have to be on for sure are Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Now, if you want to join Twitter, that's fine. If you want to get into Snapchat, that's fine. But those first three are the big ones. And I want to make sure that your um, uh, social media presence is professional and it's clean and clear and you can't be putting up stuff. You know, nobody wants to see all the crazy tattoos you've got and what you just got bleached last week or whatever else. You have to um, realize that any person, demographic, whatever, could be watching your social media. Make sure it's clean. Make sure it's professional. Also, before you post anything uh, to do with anybody else on your social media, you have to get permission because certain professions, because of privacy and so on, they don't want anything out there. Please get permission from people before you put anything about them, delivery pictures or whatever on social media. Now, the next thing besides the three platforms making a, a very you know professional uh, appearance for yourself, you have got to stay away from posting, sharing, commenting or liking anything to do with politics, sex, or religion, because that is very divisive. So if you're gonna use this to build your business, don't touch any of that stuff. You are going to hopefully develop or find consistent hashtags. These consistent hashtags are often how people will find you, and with these consistent hashtags that you're gonna copy and paste, just like I do, from post to post to post, once you develop them and you like them, you can stick with it, change your hashtags according to what you're doing through the year, but you need consistent hashtags on every single post. Now your next question, perhaps, is the posting routine. You're going to do a daily posting routine and there will be two extra posts, so two days a week you'll have two posts um, going up that will help you build awareness and build your brand in your city. Now, um, with these social media posts that you put up, I always want you to look at it from the viewpoint of what you're trying to do is create an emotional association with you. So you're trying to create positive emotional associations with yourself and with your clients and with your building. So I ask that at least three quarters of your posts that you do, especially pictures and videos, are physically done on site. So people really start connecting you with your business and what you do. So here's your posting routine. Uh, ideally, I like to take a picture of yourself, either a selfie or a video, and do a 20-second video. In this 20-second video or picture, all that I ask is that you do it every second day and that it's natural and it's on-site. The videos that are short, 20 seconds or less, will get watched. When you start putting up really, really long videos, uh, people will stop watching them. That's not what you want. If they know that it's short, because you're training people all the time, if they know your habit is short and if it's natural and it's you, they're going to watch. If you're not being yourself in these pictures or videos, it becomes extremely uncomfortable for people that know you because they love you for who you are. Don't be anything that you're not on these pictures or videos that you put up every second day selfies. Now, in between that, I'd like you to Google some stuff that you can use for your posts. Go to Google Images and type in funny bumper stickers. Crop and trim, put it up as a picture or a meme, put up your hashtags, you're done. The other thing you can do is uh, Google uh, short, clean jokes. You can actually copy those right off the website and paste or type them out. Hashtags, post, done. And the next thing you want to do is uh, motivational quotes. You can type it in or again grab an image, crop it, put up your hashtags, and done. This is how fast this takes. And you're just really going to push it onto Instagram first. Toggle off so it'll also put on your Facebook at the same time and then go over to LinkedIn and make the post. So you only got to post it twice. If you have more platforms you want to do, that's fine. Now on top of that daily routine, which is a picture, selfie, video, you know, motivational quote, that type of thing, and you're alternating all the way through the week, um, Instagram is great for finding stuff. If you sell Subarus and just type Subaru in Instagram, you'll have enough material there for 10 lifetimes. Anyways, you can find material everywhere once you start looking. But I want you to do on top of that one extra video and one extra post or one extra selfie, one extra post a week. And this is going to be promotional. You can't do promotional videos or posts more than that. It's got to be a way to just create your personality, brand awareness out there. If you start um, putting up a lot of promotional material through the week, you're going to get unfollowed. You don't want to be unfollowed. So be very, very light, like 10 or 15% of your stuff is promotional and 80, 85% is value. Exactly what we try to do here. Now, these promotional videos or selfies can be about a sale. Um, you could be talking about a used car that just came in, or has come in, you know, an aged unit. Um, it doesn't matter. You can have a picture of a flyer, but you're only able to do it twice a week. So two days a week, you'll have two posts, and the rest of the time, it's just relationship-style posts that can work well for you and your customers. So this would be um, how you can handle social media. The last thing on social media, every day, every day, go to where the suggested friends list is and add 20 friends. Request friends, 20 new friend requests, just based on the algorithm as the software presents it to you. Um, when you are trying to add, or at least inviting, 20 people a day on those three major flat, uh, platforms, that is 60 people a day. 
That's 600 people every 10 days. That's 2,000 people a month. That is 24,000 people a year. Even if half those people accept, you've got a following of 10 or 12,000 people a year organically through the algorithms that the social media platform is suggesting for you. And don't forget, my friends, it's free. The other thing which is really cute or good to post once in a while is contests. Any type of contest, you can again Google sales contests, product contests, car contests. There's no problem finding material, but people like contests for a lot of reasons. So we went through the random weekly lunch lottery. The whole thing is powered by your three by three story, donuts to their work, and social media. Here's the next one. It's called compliments. I want you to get your